Welcome back to Quarantine Circular. In the last episode, we finally got the attention of the Admiral. And by we, I mean Gabriel. We convinced them that... Well, we didn't convince them, but we said that everybody's gonna die. Unless you listen to me, and I'm here to help. It's my mission. And that is where we're gonna pick off in the fourth sequence, Consultation. I'm here to help. Yes, you said that. More detail, please, Gabriel. I am a doctor. My people have access to technologies and methodologies that could help. They're a doctor? Interesting. Technologies and methodologies you would share? Uh, some of us, yes. Oh! Oh, I just realized, we just switched perspectives yet again. So first we played as Mark Perez, and then we played as Gabriel. And now, we're playing as, uh, what's my name, Anna? Or it says here, doesn't it? Yeah, uh, Alazima. Now we're playing as Alazima. It's interesting that the perspective keeps shifting. So, some of us would share, yes. Uh, technologies like... We'll get to that. So you trigger a global catastrophe, then land with a magical cure in exchange for... what? Subjugation? Lisa. This isn't a complex, brooding sci-fi novel. Maybe their motives are simple. Humanitarian. We have a different word for it. Why only you? A small crew made sense. No need to create panic over a worldwide invasion force. Not that it stopped some from inventing theories. I... It does not matter. We are here now. We have a problem to solve. And we locked you up. You did. I'm so sorry. Thank you. If you're a doctor, then forgive me. Who sent you? What is your hierarchy? My species is part of a vast empire. The Order. The diverse populations of hundreds of worlds brought together. They explore the universe. Colonize worlds. A mission of peace and scientific discovery. Incredible. It certainly is. Or terrifying. I would probably say terrifying. Find out what Gabriel is here is my new mission. Terrifying how? The Order has complete control. Hundreds of thousands of starships. Complete legal authority. They are the arbiters of justice, of what is right and wrong. They're evil? Worse, they're idealistic. The Order has strict rules when it comes to interaction with primitive species. Charming. They refuse to interact with any species that does not achieve several criteria of advanced technology, philosophy, and governance. I'm committing a principal sin by being here, by speaking to you. What is the punishment for such a crime? Lifetime imprisonment, if they catch me. I'm a member of a separatist group, the Interventionists. And you believe... We believe that intelligent life has value wherever it is found and must be protected, even from itself. This philosophy is at odds with that of the Order, which is the reason for the discretion of my arrival. I'm here because this world is under quarantine, but I want to help it. You are facing an extinction event. I think we should learn more. I 
I'm sure you have questions, so please ask them. Oh, I get to choose who's going to be my <laughs> my conversation backup buddy something. So yeah, I get the Admiral to help me. Or I think the best approach is a skeptical one. Lisa, can you help me talk to Gabriel? I certainly don't think the best approach is a skeptical one. Not Lisa's brand of skeptic skepticism, anyway. Um, I need the support of someone who believes, Gabriel. Admiral, can you help? I'll give you space. All right. The Order wants to let us die. It is more complicated. They do not wish to interfere in the development of any culture. If they help you, they are consciously deciding to prevent the potential evolution of the species that replaces you. That sounds presumptuous. Massively. But it is not an intent fueled by evil. They're certain that their philosophy is sound. The interventionists are the good guys? Obviously not that simple either. It is less about good or bad and more about conflicting ideology. We certainly believe our perspective to be more enlightened. We believe that it is the height of hubris to assume a species is below you and not offer them help. What if they don't want your help? The offer is the part that matters. We don't force our help on anyone. You said we're under quarantine. Yes, for as long as the Order have known of your existence, you are protected from any alien intervention. And the quarantine has held? Until now, yes. Admiral, would you like to ask a question? What's your purpose in being here, Gabriel? As I have said, to help. And you want nothing in return? Beyond your survival? No. What's the point of helping us? Do the people you treat ask that question? Of course not. They're just eager to be helped. That makes sense, does it not? Alright, Admiral. You know what would happen to us without your help? I can make predictions. Predictions? How do you think this goes? Badly. Extrapolate. The bacterium will continue to outpace you. At the geographical level, it will continue to spread across coasts, across land masses, at the microscopic level, it will continue to evolve faster than your capacity to innovate. Humanity will survive, thanks to natural defenses and your strongest quarantines, but the population will be in the low millions at best. Your society will take hundreds of years to recover and get back on course. Damn. Yes. Admiral? Best enough, it's your rodeo, Ola. Alright, I think that's enough. Are you sure? Yes. Alright. I don't believe what Gabriel is saying. It's too convenient. Nothing about this situation strikes me as particularly convenient. You're the expert, Professor. Can Gabriel help us? 
Yes. I think they can. Good enough for me. In which case, let's try. My time is limited. The Order will no doubt have seen my vessel entering the Earth Quarantine. What will the Order do if they catch you? I mean, I think we already kind of know, right? They'll be in prison forever. Trial. Imprisonment. They're not barbaric, but they will stop me from doing this work. Which will lead to deaths? Many, yes. Uh, maybe we could join the Order? What? I guess I'll say it. You wouldn't qualify. Your technology is weak and brittle, your politics and philosophy even more so. From their perspective, even knowledge of my existence would make you crumble to dust. <laughs> we didn't crumble when we met you. No. You electrocuted me. A profound response of great wisdom. Gabriel, myself and my team need to discuss what you've told us. It's a lot to process. You say we have until morning to take the help you're offering. Yes. Allah, talk to Gabriel. Find out the specifics of their solution. Report back to me in an hour. I'll be waiting for your advice. Gabriel? We'll see. Yes, Admiral. Good. You're with me, Lisa. But, come on. You can teach me astrobiology. We have an hour. <laughs> Astrobiology Crash Course in one hour. Good luck. Professor Sima, if you will allow me, I would like to work this through with you. Are you comfortable? I am. Thank you. But we must talk about my treatment. I suspect you're the only person here who can really understand how it might work. Uh, Professor Sima, how familiar are humans with bacteriophages? Viruses that attack bacteria? Correct. They nestle in, take over cell production, devour it. Uh, won't work for this bacteria produces too quickly. Even if it worked, we could distribute it safely and quickly. Man-made virus is potentially more dangerous than the bacteria they fight. Uh, we're better off develop developing a vaccine. Um, I'm going to push back a bit, because I want them to explain why they think this is going to work, despite my my worries. Um, they won't work for this. The bacteria reproduces too quickly. It'll evolve resistance fast, just like with antibiotics. True enough. My solution resolves that challenge. Okay. Okay, but we couldn't distribute it safely and quickly. Let me guess they've also solved this? No. What if it was designed to do so? And it wouldn't need to spread instantly, just faster than the plague. Your team seems to have a lot of ships. I'm sure they could make it work. Okay, I understand. How do we use phages? We create one that attacks the bacteria, causing your plague. We distribute it worldwide. We sneak it away in the plague like a word unknown in a word unknown. <laughs> I'm guessing that's a, a what, it, what would it be called? A colloquialism? Something that just doesn't really have any particular intrinsic meaning. So I guess it'd be really, really hard to translate. Uh, I'm sorry, there's an error word unknown. Sorry, 
There's a creature back home which stores its young in a pouch until maturation. Oh, like a kangaroo? <laughs> like they're gonna know what that is. Uh, I suppose so. Like a kangaroo. There's a children's game. You would call it kangaroo words. You have to think of a word that is hidden in another word and means the same thing. The letters must be sequential. Would that be a myself? Two words that mean the same thing. My and self. How so? M me. I'm a me? Yes. That is it exactly. I know we have work to do, but I want to hear more human kangaroo words. Something more complex. <laughs> okay. Sure. Wait, how are any of these kangaroo words? City, I think that means the same thing. So yeah, the other one didn't work. Yes, clever, very clever, but... Okay, so you can skip letters then. So they can be, I guess, sequential, but they don't have to be back to back. Okay. Um, I went off course. Let's return to the matter at hand. I can create a phage that will hide inside the plague bacterium, just like a kangaroo, and eat it from within. We call them Taylor phages. They will adapt to any defense a cell has. Nothing infected will reach reproductive age, so no resistance will evolve. They will also not exceed their bounds. They present no threat to any biology except this plague. How do we create this phage? That is the easy part. I began maturation of the phage back in Dubrovnik. My onboard computers have been calculating a recipe ever since. The suit I am wearing fabricates biological material to support my survival on this planet. It can create this phage and infect the bacteria, which are no doubt clinging, hopefully, to my alien skin. At that point, I imagine I will go back to the city, shake some hands, it will be done. If your friends would just stop zapping me, it resets my computers. How long? It will take a few hours. Wait with me. Talk to me. Um, yeah, why not? Intervention. It's nighttime now, so it's probably right about at the end of the phage being created. Now that their computer isn't being reset. And I think a pretty good place to end this episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to begin with Intervention.